Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. Let me introduce you to the data processing fundamentals with live Python coding, a video series which I have just completed all the videos related to this series at my YouTube channel. This is the final UI which we create at the last of this project while writing the Python code into the class space architecture. You will be starting the code writing from scratch and slowly, slowly at the end, you are going to build the UI in front of you. The content is designed for Python programmer who have basic understanding of Python programming. The content which we have covered in this series starts with the data, which is just a collection of rows and columns within these rows and columns you have various numeric as well as the character or the categorical data. Now you are using the Python code to process this data and generate into much more representative form of rows and columns. For the starters, we provide the regular Python code to read the data, process it and generate into the tabular structure, which can be processed through Python code. In the next step, we use the filtering method. It means the rows and columns which you have just seen in your source data, you can use various Python methods to filter this code based on values as well as the categorical data stored in individual columns. While processing the filtering, you can filter your code at the column level or the row level or combining both rows and columns as well. Until now, your code is written as the regular Python, it means the code is written in a sequential processing mode. It means as the code execute, the content is written in your code is being processed. We add more value to this tutorial by implementing the code through Python classes. We will migrate line by line, function by function, our regular Python code into the Python classes. Each class we create has been explained extensively to make sure you understand the concept and utilizes effectively in this tutorial as well as the other places where you would want to apply your Python programming knowledge. After the code is migrated into the class structure, in the next step, we add the UI on top of our class based code. And in order to add the UI on top of our Python application, we use the Python Gradio library, which use a multi step or the multi series processing in the UI to build the two separate UI. First, we select a particular data set and render its content depending on various methods to get the data set details from the source data set. And then we use the filtering UI to filter the content depending on our target filter criteria. The whole tutorial is designed into the various videos. The very first video covers the introduction to our codes. You will see the various concepts which we are going to cover all the way from start to finish in this tutorial. This video is about 20 minutes as an introduction to our course. In the next, you are going to learn the data access and filtering, which is about 30 minutes of code followed by another 30 minutes of extended filtering with multiple data sets. In this 60 minutes of two separate videos, you will learn selecting various source data set and add the various value and categorical database filtering methods applied to your Python code. In the next two series, 3A and 3B, we spend about 60 minutes to migrate our existing Python code and write everything from scratch by adding the class based architecture. Writing Python using class enhances your code and adds various other high level functionality to your Python code. And it also makes your code looking much more smarter and much more modular. And at the last, we spend about 80 minutes of our time in two separate videos to develop the Gradio based GUI or the graphics user interface or the application interface to our existing Python code. The UI consists of two separate tabs in 
First step, we select a data set from a particular Python library and access its rows and column content within a given range. And in the second tutorial, we add another tab to our UI where we apply the value as well as the categorical data set filtering. So technically, the video is consists of six tutorials plus one introduction video. Combining all these videos, you are going to spend about three hours and 30 minutes of your time. However, this three hour and 30 minutes time is going to give you a kickstart so that you could process the data as being the Python programmer. So please visit at the ProdRamp YouTube channel to get you started with the data processing fundamentals with live Python code. Just before you go, I just wanted to let you know that the full source code as well as the links to every video in this series is available. The information or the details section of this video. I would like to get your comments, your feedback about the content which I have created so that I could create more similar content for you going forward. Once again, thank you so much for your time and patronage. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.